In the last video, we saw about the overly hyped additional currencies concept in S4 HANA. It's useful, I don't disagree, but 8 currencies is not really what we need and having that only in the GL module is also not something very fancy. But we have understood about the different currency types, how are the fields stored in ACID, okay? And we also understood the difference between ECC and S4 with respect to these currency types. And in this video, we will understand how to create these currency types in S4 HANA, how to add currencies or assign currencies to these currency types, and how to have a global currency type or a company code specific currency type, and how to assign these additional currencies to the ledgers under a company code. So before we go into the video, do not forget to like it if you are finding it useful, share it and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it yet. So let's jump into the video. Now that S4 HANA had given these currencies, it is good for us to understand how to create these additional currencies and how can we assign these currency types to our ledgers. So we'll go to the transaction code FINSC underscore ledger, which is the standard ledger configuration transaction code. You can also navigate via SPRO. And here, these are the different ledgers that are created. And here, if you see, we have a folder for currency. types. So here, there are the standard currency types that we have discussed. And also, we have an option to add or create our own currency types. So, the standard currency types are the 10, 20, 30, what we have already discussed now. But you also see there are currency variations for all these currency types. 10 having 11 and 12 as variations. 30 having 31 and 32 as variations. Similarly, 40 with 41 and 42. So, what are these variations? So, these variations are the currency types when assigned to different valuation views like group valuation or profit center valuation. That is a huge different concept. It's about parallel valuations which we are not touching now. But just understand that few currency types like 10, 30, 40 and 50 and 60 can be assigned to different valuation views. By default, all these currency types use legal valuation, but you can also assign these currencies for group valuation or profit center valuation. And that variations of these currency types are ending with one and two. One is for group currency or group valuation and two is for profit center valuation. So, these are the standard currency types. If you see here for these variation currencies, the underlying plain currency type is also defined. For example, if a document currency in group valuation is called as 01, but the underlying one is 00. The same way, company code currency type when assigned to 11, which is a group valuation, the underlying one is N. So, this is about the plain currency type. And we have one more column, company code specific conversion, which means this currency type, whether it can have a separate currency assigned to it, like US dollars or euros, whether we can assign a different currency for every company code, or whether this currency type is fixated for one currency across the entire SAP client. So, here we have an option to create a currency type. So, we can create a currency type. I will define it as ZY. I will say it as some um, user defined currency, some test. And we can select the currency valuation view here, whether it is legal valuation or group valuation or profit center segmentation etc plain currency type is required only if you are selecting any of these for legal valuation it is not required 
and you can define whether this currency type is a company code specific conversion or a global one so one i'll define it as company code and i'll define it as zx i'll say it as user defined global i'll say it as test global and this is again i'm not enabling this checkbox which means this is a global conversion that means this currency type can be assigned to only one currency for all the company codes to which this is assigned to so save this now depending upon whether you have enabled this company code specific conversion or not you need to assign a currency for this currency type in the global currency settings or company code currency settings so for zy which is company code specific i'll go to company code conversion folder here you create a new entry and define the company code and assign the currency for this currency type so currency type is zy and here i am assigning maybe i'll say it as euro the source currency says the base currency which is the base for us to translate the value and populate amount for this currency type for example when you are posting a document the document currency is first converted into a company code currency so you can either choose that company code currency as a base convert it into this currency type or you can choose a document currency or you can choose any currency for that matter so there is a list of currency types i usually choose it as company code currency or document currency so when a document is posted the document currency is first converted into a company code currency and that company code currency is later translated into this currency type zy which is euro and when we talk about conversions we require an exchange rate and when we talk about exchange rate there is a date on which this exchange rate should be considered so that can be document date posting date or a translation date i'll keep it as translation date and the real time conversion says whether we want the source or the document currency to be converted into this currency type immediately at the time of saving it or the saving the document or you want to run the foreign currency valuation transaction code fagl underscore fcv at the month end to convert those currencies so i i want to do it a real time conversion so i am keeping it as enabled the company code currency because this is specific to company code conversion i can also assign it to a different company code the same currency type and here i define it as australian dollar and the source currency i can keep it as 10 m 3 and real time conversion so this is how a currency type which is enabled for company code specific conversion can have a separate currency under each and every company code i will go back to currency types we have defined zx which is global let us see what happens if i try to assign zx in this company code currencies so i'll take it as 0 mmh and i'll say zx it says zx cannot be used because it is not defined for company code specific conversion but it is defined only for global conversion so i'll go to global conversion add a new currency take it as zx and here i'm assigning one currency maybe i'll keep it as ad and source currency is 10 exchange rate and translation date so this is about defining user defined currency types and assigning currencies for those currency types now we'll go back to the ledger i'll select a leading ledger and under my company code i can assign these currency types so i'll go to zero mmh and here if you see by default 10 and 30 are assigned non changeable 
बिकॉज दिज आर टू बीसेक करेंसी विच आर मैंडेटरीली असाइन टू एवरी लेटर एंड ऑन टॉप ऑफ दैट वी कैन असाइन एट फ्रीली डिफाइंड करेंसी Now these freely defined currencies can be either a standard currency type or it can be any user specific or a custom currency type. So one I have assigned a standard one which is forty fiat currency, and the remaining one I have assigned ZM. So now I'll assign one more freely defined currency. So for this third currency, I will assign ZY. so this zy again the currency type is always case sensitive so if you are defining in capitals to ensure that you are entering it in capitals it is always recommended to define and enter a currency type in capitals so depending upon the currency conversion settings that we have given for the company code system had picked this currency as euro and the source currency is ten So if you go back, we can see that zero MMH ZY is euro. The same way, I will also assign another currency type that we have defined, which is ZX. And depending upon my global conversion settings, it had picked up AED. so like this you can assign eight freely defined currencies and two are by default so total 10 currencies are supported in ac docket now that we have defined zy as a company code specific conversion let us try to assign it to another company code and let us see what happens so we'll go back i'll take it zero tsl and here also i am going to define a new currency type and let us say it as zy yes and here you see it is australian dollar why because for this company code for the same currency type we have defined or assigned the currency as australian dollar so like this the company code specific conversion works or the global conversion works so i hope you have found this video useful we have understood about different currency types or rather i would say the hype created about additional currency types in s4 you understood how to create a currency type assign a currency and add those under your company code ledger do not forget to like the video if you are finding it useful share it and please do subscribe to the channel to support our work so see you in the next video until then take care